In week three, we'll look at how technology has changed the study and teaching of English grammar. There is no one better suited to introduce the modern world of grammar studies than our expert, Bethany Gray. Hi, my name is Bethany Gray. I'm an assistant professor uh, at Iowa State University. I teach courses in grammar and grammatical analysis, and I teach these courses to a range of different audiences. Uh, I've taught grammar to ESL students in um, the university context. I teach them to undergraduate students who are being trained in linguistics. And I also teach uh, grammar to teachers, uh, graduate students who are studying to become uh, ESL teachers around the world. My um, work largely focuses on using technology to study grammar, um, using a field called corpus linguistics, where I use technology and computers to study large collections of authentic language, and I track uh, variation in the grammatical structure of this language. Professor Gray explains that corpus linguistics provides a lot of new knowledge about grammar. Corpus linguistics also provides new ways for linguists, teachers, and students to study grammar. But what is corpus linguistics? A corpus is a large collection of texts. Once we have a large collection of texts stored on a computer, we can then search the texts to see how particular words and grammatical structures are used in real English. The example on the screen shows the word grammar and all the different ways that grammar is used in sentences in English. In fact, it shows how grammar has been used in real sentences written by real writers and speakers of English. Our expert, Joe Geluso, is going to explain how to use a corpus to study both grammar and vocabulary. Hi, my name is Joe Geluso. I'm studying towards my PhD in Applied Linguistics and Technology at Iowa State University. Before coming to Iowa State, I was teaching English in Mexico and Japan, where I studied Spanish and Japanese while teaching. In terms of my research here at Iowa State, I'm very interested in the patterning of language and how that patterning might help us as researchers to better understand grammar rules, how language is represented in the mind, and how language is learned. Corpus linguistics, the topic I'll be talking about in these videos, is a great methodology to uncover patterns in language and help us gain insights into how language is used and learn from those insights. I look forward to working with you. In week four, we will see how technology has helped in the teaching of reading. Reading is a complex process that has to be taught in class and practiced every day. Our expert, Professor Tammy Slater, will help us to understand how reading develops. With this knowledge, teachers can help their students learn to read. My name is Tammy Slater and I'm an associate professor in applied linguistics and teaching English as a second or foreign language. I'm originally from Western Canada and I spent several years teaching English in Japan, but I moved to the American Midwest about seven years ago to teach at and do research for this university. I teach a variety of courses here, including introduction to linguistics, but my main interest is in literacy methods and theories. I regularly teach a graduate course in this topic for ESL teachers, and I developed and taught a course for undergraduate students who are learning to be ESL teachers. 